Hey guys, my name is Jack Tor and welcome to my YouTube channel. So g'day and good morning guys. Today we are going to be exploring the top five things to do here in Kuala Lumpur. And I'll show you some unconventional things that people don't normally do in the top five things to do. Most people go to the Twin Towers, um, eat different street food, check out some of the main, main tourist attractions. But here I want to show you some other things that if you're staying in KL for a little bit longer, these are some cool things that you can do. Today I'm with fellow YouTubers, Owen and Ashlyn. So I'll leave the link in the description to their channel if you want to check it out. So yeah, come along with me today as we experience that. So right now I'm here in the center of KL in the Botanical Gardens Park. This is a free park to enter right in the center of KL, just off the metro station. It's about a five minute walk here and they have a lot of cool stuff here to see. So come along with me, grab a drink, grab a beer, grab a tea, relax, sit, back and really enjoy this video forget what it, what's going on in your life be right beside me and let's experience KL and the top things to do together just walking through the park now and check out this tree I've never seen something like it before it's got like hardly any leaves on it and it's just really bare and like really weird and I don't know it looks like a tree that might be like native to like Africa or something if you've seen this before and if it's native to Malaysia let me know in the comments because yeah this is I just thought I'd point that out I've just walked into this free library and by the looks of it you can just grab a book and just start reading it here or you take it home with you and I'm pretty sure how this works is you bring a book and then you take a book and then once you finish reading that book you come back and you take another one so it's sort of like this swap honesty system which is so nice and there's all these books here yeah it's really cool so like if you want to just come and be in the trees and in nature find a nice shady spot grab a book that interests you and you'll be on your way so how good's that i'll um i'll drop a link in the description to like this spot so if you are in kl you can come and find it About a 10 minute walk from the centre of the gardens is situated the tranquil and beautiful Kale Bird Park. More than 3,000 local and foreign birds call this place home. The park is separated into four different zones. Zones 1 and Zones 2 are flight free zones. Zone 3 is Hornbill Park where Zone 4 is individual birds kept in small cages with different varieties. The park is a sprawling 21 acres of lush valley and terrain. Just stopped off at a place to get lunch, right next to a few tourist attractions that you'll see in a set. So we've just went for a simple fried rice, but it actually looks like pretty good. Pretty nice. <laughs> Comes with an egg on top, um, a few vegetables, and then it's got some nice like uh, tomato and cucumber on the side. So let's dig in and try this one. We pretty much demolished all of that food. Very good. <laughs> it was literally so so good, so tasty. Unlike even the drinks as well. Me and Ashley got like a lemon honey tea. So so tasty, so good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, 
Okay. Bye. Bye. If you want to see Kuala Lumpur's memorizing landscapes from the top, head over to the KL Tower observation deck that offers unobstructed 360 degree views of Kuala Lumpur city. It is without a doubt the best spot in town for taking great photos. It is the seventh tallest freestanding tower in the world featuring an antenna that increases its height to 421 meters above ground level. What do you reckon guys? It's so big on it. <laughs> it is it's, it's pretty so cool, cool right? Yeah. Is it higher than what you thought? Yeah, I reckon so, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And it's like so insane just to see how like built up and industrial the whole city is. Yep. It's just crazy. And even in the middle of all that, like all the new buildings that are going up as well, like there's new buildings everywhere. Yeah, yeah. The construction here is intense. There's a lot of investment in kale at the moment. Like everywhere you look, you can see just buildings being built like new developments new everywhere, developments just, yeah. yeah it's like they just get approved like that um the skyline here is really um coming alive so that's that's really really fascinating that mountain all the way over there is actually where the batu caves was so if you haven't watched that video i'll link it up here it was actually a bit of a different video and something that i didn't expect so go and give that a watch to reveal about my unexpected experience at the batu caves you can see the contrast here in the weather one side is pretty much blue skies the other is rain it is coming in like no tomorrow from there so i think we might head down quick to get to our next stop okay so i'm about to try durian crepe now i had durian three years ago and i sort of remember the taste but when i walked past this when we came out of the twin towers as you can see behind me the I, it caught my eye and I was like 11 ringgit for this so I thought I may as well buy it and give it a try so oh oh wow it's soft oh, I thought it'd be more like like a, a putty like a candy or something but all right let's give this a go oh wow I honestly don't know if I like it it's like quite naturally sh sweet from the durian, but the cream inside is like really weird. So the texture on the outside is like sort of like pastry, pastry, and then the inside's all gooey. And then on the very inside, you can see here the durian. Hmm, I actually quite like it, but I don't think I could have like heaps all at once i might like you know chuck it in the fridge then come back two hours later and have another one it's sort of quite rich i guess that's the right word you could say upside down house but it is about to bucket down with rain and there's a loud loud thunder so we're going to give this one a miss today but what i'll do i'll chuck up some footage here and you can see what the upside down house is like and if it's for you when you come to kl it's only a stone throw away from the kl tower so definitely worth checking out That afternoon, I headed over to Beast Park. This is a unconventional thing to do in Kuala Lumpur, but is highly recommended. Beast Park offers a range of activities, from strength training gyms, to bouldering rock climbing, to rope climbing as well. They also offer training from their highly professional staff members. It is a fun way to be active within the city, and is a great place to take your children as well, as they also have children's size rock climbing walls. Me and my friend Wes absolutely had a blast and it was only 40 ringgit each for a pass that lasted the whole day. Radio guys, so we're going to wrap that video up today. It has been an amazing time hanging out with Owen and Ashlyn. We have had a blast. It's been so, so good. It's been so cool meeting up with Jack as well. Like, Daphne, keep supporting the channel. Such a cool guy and we've had a wicked time today. Yeah, so these guys are, have came around with us today and they have a video that they also filmed today. So I'll link it in the description. So make sure you go and check that one out. And as always, guys, keep it real. Cheers. 
See ya. Bye. <laughs>